There are two small and weak low pressure systems coming into the picture right now. One of them is centered over Northern Ireland while the other one lags behind it and is off to the north and east of the Asurish Archipelago. In addition to those new systems that we're going to focus on in today's video, snow continues to fall in northeastern Turkey and parts of Georgia as widespread rainfall and some thunderstorm activity affects Italy and several countries along the Adriatic Sea. As we go into the evening and nighttime hours, that system entering the United Kingdom is really not going to change much in terms of size or intensity. Much of the rainfall expected there for the rest of the day should come mainly in the form of scattered showers as the cold front pushes ahead into France and the Benelux. The center of the low should reach mainland Europe on Thursday, but by this point it's really not going to do much more than produce a broad field of showers across Germany and surrounding areas, perhaps some wintry precipitation in higher elevations as well, but even after it seemingly disappears on Friday, it's going to live on in the upper levels of the atmosphere through France and eventually into the Iberian Peninsula, where it will likely influence the ongoing weather situation by the start of next week. Now for that other system lagging behind the first one. This is going to arrive in Portugal on Thursday as high pressure builds around the system, so that's basically going to shove it down into northern Africa, putting it into a position to produce heavy rain and storms across Iberia and even into the Mediterranean for several days. And then by the weekend, another disturbance coming in from the Atlantic gets cut off, so this will produce showers and storms across Madeira and all the way down to the Canary Islands. Here's a look at my excessive rainfall outlook for tomorrow, Thursday, February 27th. Fortunately, we're not looking at a significant risk of flooding anywhere, but those level 1 risk areas indicate that the threat is not zero. For example, I'm going to be watching central and southern Portugal as that low approaches and begins to move south, and then the Mediterranean region has a level 1 from parts of Croatia and Bosnia down to Greece and Turkey. On Friday, the flood risk is going to decrease in coverage across the Mediterranean, but some bouts of heavy rainfall still can't be ruled out from Greece to Cyprus. Iberia and Northern Africa, on the other hand, are going to bear the brunt of that low which arrived on Thursday. I even upgraded a couple of regions to a level 2 since confidence in excessive rain is particularly high. This includes Gibraltar and neighboring portions of Spain, including the city of Malaga. Lastly, I went ahead and added a level 1 for western and southern Iceland as a deep area of low pressure affects the area. For Saturday, March 1st, some concern for excessive rainfall may return, particularly around Corsica, with an ongoing heavy rainfall event around the Alboran Sea, and the level 1 in Iceland remains unchanged as another nearly identical low arrives by the afternoon. One last thing before we bring this forecast to a close, here's a look at the potential snowfall accumulations through March 1st. Between those two powerful storms in Iceland, snow is going to be abundant. Those orange shades indicate up to or more than 100 centimeters. Just about all of the snow outside of the Nordic and Baltic countries, Belarus, Ukraine, and some parts of Poland are going to be confined to higher ground. This includes Central Europe, the Balkan, and Iberian peninsulas, and even as far south as the Atlas Mountains and Morocco. Turkey and Georgia have dealt with an extended period of heavy snow and cold air recently, and even though it's going to be ending by tomorrow, another 10 to 20 centimeters is possible. Now for a quick featured photo. This was taken yesterday in southern Spain with the Rock of Gibraltar off in the distance. Skies are mostly clear for now, but this is one of the areas expecting heavy rain. Make sure you tune back in for the next video. Even though we have several systems to watch in these last few days of February, it does look like high pressure is going to be increasingly dominant across some parts of Europe once again. Thanks everyone for watching as always, and I'll see you on the next video.